the Supreme Court on Monday held that, for proceeding against a director of a company, for contravention of provisions of the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act, the necessary ingredient for proceeding shall be that, at the time offence was committed, the director was in charge of and was responsible to the company, for the conduct of the business of the company. A bench comprising of Justice Ashok Bhushar and Justice R. Subhash Reddy observed that, the liability to be proceeded with for offence under Section 68, depends on the role one plays in the affairs of the company and not on mere designation or status. The provisions of Section 51 oblige the adjudicating officer to hold an inquiry in the prescribed manner after giving that person a reasonable opportunity for making a representation in the matter. The material was brought by the appellant on the record that he was a part-time non-executive director, not in charge of the affairs of the company at the relevant time, which was erroneously refused to be considered. In Fera, 1973 for imposing a penalty under Section 50, the adjudicating officer is required to hold an inquiry after giving the person a reasonable opportunity for making a representation in the matter. Even though Fera 1973 does not contemplate filing of a written complaint, but in proceedings as contemplated by Section 51 the person who has to be proceeded with, has to be informed of the contravention for which penalty proceedings are initiated. The expression, after giving that person a reasonable opportunity for making a representation in the matter, as occurring in Section 51 itself contemplate due communication of the allegations of contravention, and unless allegations contains complete ingredients of offence within the meaning of Section 68, it cannot be said that a reasonable opportunity for making a representation in the matter has been given to the person, who is to be proceeded with. The bench viewed that the adjudicating officer has erroneously imposed penalty on the appellant for the alleged offence under FERA 1973, which order was erroneously affirmed both by the appellate tribunal and the High Court. In view of the aforesaid, this appeal deserves to be allowed. The judgments of the High Court as well as those of the adjudicating officer and the appellate tribunal are set aside. The appeal is allowed and the penalty imposed on the appellant is set aside. Subscribe this channel for case law videos.